Edwin, why are you here? Well, um, I'm here to find out the truth about my, my child's mother, to see if she was cheating on me. And um, we had um, four kids together. We've been together for about six years. So um, I asked her to marry me two years ago. She turned me down. And she turned you down? Yeah. And you got four kids together? Yeah, we got four you kids said, together. You said, will you marry me? You're the love of my life. Exactly and she what I said, said. And she turned me down. She said, no. She said, no. But I mean, me and her, it's been an ongoing thing with, um, with the kids not being mine. Possibly not. You being think mine. that they're possibly not your children? Yeah, I'm here for my, old, my two oldest. And, to see if they're mine and or why? Not. You, you, she was sleeping with somebody else at yes, the time? Yes, she was sleeping with somebody else. The two kids could possibly be yours, though, right? And I have my doubts about the oldest. And why know, is that? Because when we, when we got together, she was already seeing someone else. And then she got with me, and then she told me, you know what I'm saying? She got pregnant, and the kid was mine. Through all this time, though, you stayed with her. Yeah, I stayed with her. And you've had two more children. Yeah. So you had one that you dialed, a second, second one, one that you dialed. And my last two was twins. And then, but the last two you're pretty confident yeah, yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, those are mine. Those and mine, do you think that she's still cheating on you? Oh, yeah, yeah. What, if she is cheating on you, and I, I'm assuming that she took a lie detector test, yeah, uh, we'll get to. Um, if she is cheating on you, what will, will you be really hurt? Or? Yeah, of course I'll be hurt. You know what I'm saying? What man wouldn't be? Would you stay with her? Care? Yeah, I'll stay with her. You will stay yeah, with I'll her? Yeah, I'll stay with her. If she's cheating on you, you're going to stay with her? Yeah, I'm going to stay with her. Well, th why are I mean, you? I mean, to be honest with you, you know what I'm saying? I just want to know about the kids. You, know? you want, and we I want gave to know you a DNA test. Kids. Yeah, I want to know about my kids. Well, and, and what if she says, yeah, I'm cheating on you, and I'm not going to stop cheating on you? Oh, then, then I guess it's over. You want her to stop cheating? Yeah, I really want her to stop. Um, do you raise the children? Yeah, I raise my kids. You're there? Yeah. You're a good dad. How can I explain it? Like, I know they're not my kids, you know what I'm saying? But I don't treat them different. I still raise them as my like kids. Like, you love them and yeah, treat them yeah, good? And, yeah, I still right. raise them, you know? Like, I, I've been there for her, throughout her pregnancy, you know what And I'm they think you're dad, right? Yeah, they call me dad. Oh, yeah. okay, well, there you go. And you suspect she's with someone else now? Well, yeah, she's been talking to someone else from a halfway house. From a halfway house? Yeah. And, and how did you find out that information? Well, I was in the room one day, and the number she had, the dude number was under a female's name. So he texted at 12.30. That, that's pretty snaky. Yeah, yeah. texted at like 12.30 in the morning. You know what I'm saying? This supposed to be a caseworker, somebody that she know, and texted at 12.30 in the morning, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, what did the text up. say? Oh, you up? Because I want to talk, you know what I'm saying? So I texted him back, said, yeah, call me. So I called him, he called, and I said, yo, who this? And he told did me. Did you say it like in a really high-pitched voice, or? Nah, I, no. I said it, yeah, <laughs> okay. I said it real, but he telling you know what I'm saying, oh, she ain't with you, she ain't with you, big bro, she ain't with you. Say, he, this guy was saying this to you? Yeah, he was saying this to me, so I brought the phone to her, and I gave her the phone, and he told her, yo, you know what I'm saying, yo, your, your, your baby daddy acting up, you know what I'm saying, he wilding out, do I need to come see him? Nah, I'm going to come see you. Did you confront her? Did you say yeah, what the hell going on? Yeah, I confronted her, you know what I'm saying, she spoke to him, she said, she cried to me and told me that, she swore that she was never going to talk to this guy again. Two days later, I remember the number. Two days later, she pitched the number under a different female's name. What if, because you took a DNA test, yeah. what if these two children, or maybe even one, two, what if they're not yours? Because that's the big question here, right? I mean, it sounds like she's cheating just from what you're I've telling been, me. I've been, I've been, I've been in my son's life for, um, or, or since they was born. I've been with them since. And this is your little guy here? Yeah, yeah, that's the second one. I was well, she cheated on me with this guy when I went away to go do some um, business to make some money for my kids. And she told me that she cheated on me and I still let it go, you know what I'm saying? But she told me that she was pregnant by me. But before that, she was, went to the other dude that she was seeing and told him that it was his child and he didn't want nothing to do with her. So I still stuck around, took care of her, took her to her appointments and everything like that. And day of birth, she didn't call me, she called him to the hospital. Whose name's on the birth certificate? His. <laughs> if it turns out you're not the father, you've raised it, you, you know. You yeah, I just can't leave their side like that, Steve. I, I, believe me, I understand. If you've been there from day one, and you're raising them, and they call you dad, in my book, you're dead. <laughs> um, Norma is your uh, girlfriend. You still want her to be your wife? Well, yeah, I mean, I still want to marry her, you know what I'm saying? 
I mean, I was told that I couldn't have kids, you know what I'm saying? So she gave me my kids. And Who that's told why you I that, feel, doctor? Yeah, doctor told okay. me that. And so you were told this, and it's kind of like a miracle. Yeah, it's kind of like a yeah. miracle. You know All right, they, I, I understand that. Um, the girl that you want to marry, the, the mother of possibly four of your children, but you know for sure two, uh, she's here. Let's bring her out. Norma. <laughs> How could you do me? How could you lie like that? But yo, you, you, you've been you telling me you wrong. cheated you on me though, wrong. you know what I'm saying? You cheated on me with I this. I did, I told you. I told you that I cheated on you. I admitted it. Well, I made a mistake. Well, you know then wouldn't it be, then if you told him that you were cheating on him, wouldn't he then come to the conclusion that maybe these children aren't his? They've been tearing me apart because the, he... Okay, but you know, that was in the past and you know, you said you admitted to him whatever relationship you had going on. But recently he's saying that, you know, you're getting messages, text messages from some guy from a halfway house that he confronts, you say, oh, I'm not gonna talk to him anymore. Then the next thing you know, you got the number under another female's name on your phone. Well, why are you doing that? I stopped, I stopped talking to like the other guy because um, I wanted to work things out with him. I'm, I'm trying to isolate Yeah, but move. the point is, you got confronted, he knew about it, you said, I'm not going to talk to him, but then you hid the name under another name. That's true. That's, I did do that. Why well, no? Explain why you did that. <laughs> because he, he doesn't want to man up. He didn't I want? I want him to man up. You want him to man up? Yes. Well, shouldn't you be doing that? Man up? You want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show? Contact the show now at 1-888-STEVE-07. He loves you. Even the fact that you cheated on him, he still loves you. He says he asked you to marry him. You said no. He's taking care of the kids, right? He helps me with them. Well, he's, he's there, yeah, right? Well and and, and he, you put one of the children's name with the, on the birth certificate. You put another guy's name, right? Because I wasn't sure that he was a father. Well, she was sure. But shouldn't you be really sure who the father is before you put the name on the birth certificate? Yeah. Is he the father of that child? Yes, he's the father of two of them. Okay, do you love him? Yes. And you want to work things out with him? Yes. I want to get the DNA test out so that we could, and the lie detector, so we can move on and be a family. Who called the show? I did. You did? Yes. And you want to prove that one, you're not cheating. Yes. And two, that these children are his. Exactly. All yes. Right. Let's find out. <laughs> All right, Norma, before the show, you took a lie detector test. Um, right off the top, it says uh, confessions. It says, Norma uh, states that she has been talking to a man since Edwin and her have split up two months ago. She confessed that they kissed. Um, then you were asked a couple questions on the lie detector test. Um, her kissing a man, does that bother you? Or is well, that yeah, something of you course can it bothers well, I mean, me. can I'm you overlook that is what I'm Yeah, saying. I can overlook that. You can, can overlook, overlook that. that yeah. All right. Uh, Norma, you were asked, besides kissing... Have you had any other sexual, physical contact with another man in the last two months since you've been apart from Edwin? You answered no. Did you start sleeping with someone else before you split up with Edwin two months ago? You answered no. And the results for your lie detector test is that you told the truth. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Does does that does that give you some yeah, comfort? That, that gives me a lot. Yeah, it a lot. Clears up some questions in your yeah, head, maybe. Definitely. All right, uh, Edwin, your three-year-old um, took a DNA test, and that's a question whether you are the father to that little guy. Edwin, you are the father of Noah's three-year-old. Sorry, I don't know I'm better. I'm sorry. Right. Wow. I mean, uh, you seem like a really nice guy, and I'm like, I'm like Renus. I'm like, I'm hoping that you're the dad, and the, you know, you're not the father. That would, I mean, this little guy smiling. You're, you know, oh, thank God. But we got one more to go. 
All right, this is the four-year-old. Any question that if he's the father? No. No question. This is the one I do have my doubts about. This is the one you have your doubts about. I want to devote himself to the three or two. Let's find out. Edwin, you're not the father of the four year old. Hurt, yo. Oh, man, yo. Okay. No, 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 no. Why don't you at least try to talk to him? You're, you're not the father, but you raised his as your own son. That's not the point. You should have just told me the truth. You know what I'm saying? I, I was telling no, the you truth about you told me the truth about everything because I told you from long ago that I knew he wasn't mine. You could have been honest with me, you know what I'm saying? I still would have been there for him, like I'm still am going to be. <laughs> but I'm hurt, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm really in. You know what? I, and you have every right to be hurt, I would, I would take in consideration, you said you do love her. I do. She's told the truth that she hasn't been cheating on you. I love you, too, Andy. And I, want, and I want to be with you. I just don't know what to say, man. I'm angry, yo. I you just can't believe you did what you did to me, man. I, I don't. You raised him, man. He says you're like his father. You, you know, know what? Let's. I want to forget about her for one second. And that four-year-old, when he sees you, what is he? What is he gonna say? Is he gonna say, "Hey, dad"? Yeah, he's gonna say, "Father." And he knows. He looks at you. Hey, that's my dad, right? You're dad. As far as the little guy goes. If you've been treating him like a father and he's been looking at you like a father, I don't know if it's right to punish him. No, no, of course not. You know what I mean? I never took it out on him. No, and I'm saying, even if she was cheating, you said you still wanted to be yeah, with her. She's not cheating. Her. What do you want to say to her? I still love you. And I feel like we can still make it work. But um, I got a confession to make, Steve. Um, I was cheating on you, too. Because I know, I know, I know you was doing your thing, so I'm going to do my thing, too. I didn't like that, so. It is what it is, right? Sorry. Can you take me back? Yeah. Hey, good luck to you. All right, All right. Thank you, man. Good luck to you.